my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Some years ago, Mother Teresa was asked by a reporter, what is your biggest problem? Without a moment of hesitation, Mother Teresa answered with one word, professionalism. She said, here are these servants of Jesus who care for the poorest of the poor. I have one who just went off and came back with her medical degree. Others have come back with registered nurse degrees, another with a master's in social work. And when they came back with their degrees, their first question always is, where is my office? Then she said, but you know what I do? I send them over to the house of the dying where they simply hold the hands of dying people for six months and after that they were ready to be servants again. This was the greatness of Mother Teresa. Her infliching commitment was to stay connected to the service of God. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, the church reminds us that Christ is the true vine and we are his branches. As branches craft on the true vine, we are expected to bear positive and good fruits in Christ. Hence, today's gospel is a call to strengthen our relationship with Christ in order to continue to live in him. The type of relationship that should exist between us and Christ is illustrated using what is natural to us. That is, the relationship between a vine and its branches. No branch can have life or bear fruit on its own unless it is firmly attached to a tree. Likewise, in our spiritual life and journey as a Christians, we cannot do so without being firmly attached to Christ, the true vine, in whose name we all were baptized. We are created and called to remain in Christ for a purpose and this purpose is to bear good and positive fruits in God. Today Christ tells us, I am the true vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you cannot do nothing. The emphasis should not be only on bearing fruit, but bearing good fruit. Indeed, there are many trees that bear different kinds of fruits, yet not all their fruits are edible or useful to us. Some fruits are poisonous, some are full of worms, some are so bitter that may people will dare to taste them. Some have thorns and scare people away from touching them. But some fruits are really simply sweet, good, and refreshing to those who eat them. Today, the church provides us with a great opportunity to reflect on our spiritual progress. So, we must pause to ask ourselves these important questions. First, how is my relationship with the Christ? Am I still living in Him? What type of fruit am I bearing? Is it edible and beneficial to my family and community? 
Is it sweet or bitter? If our fruits are vices like quarrels, anger, jealousy, gossip, bitterness, destructive criticisms, we give a very wrong signal to people and create a toxic environment in both our families and communities. So my dear brothers and sisters, to remain in Christ means first to listen to him and keep his words. Second, to recognize that Christ alone is the real wine and that without him we cannot do nothing. Thirdly, to see God in all people, even in our own enemies. Fourthly, to have an active, sacramental, and prayerful life. Now, let us ask our Heavenly Father to grant us graces to remain in Jesus Christ always, who is true wine.